Globally, we send 16 billion instant messages a day. But before computers and Wi-Fi, before telephones and text messages, the first permanent connection between Ireland and America began at Foyle Hamerun Bay on Valencia Island, County Kerry. Cyrus Westfield was a paper merchant. Such was his success, he retired comfortably at 34, turning his efforts to telegraphy. In 1854, Field met Frederick Gisborne, whose ambition was to connect New York and Newfoundland by telegraph cable. Field wasn't enthusiastic about the idea, but it occurred to him that a telegraph could extend much further across the Atlantic. This would save the 14 days required to send a message by boat. Field made his first attempt to connect Valencia and Newfoundland on the 5th of August 1857. But the cable broke at just 380 miles late. This cable would snap four times before a connection was finally made in July 1858. Catastrophically, just three weeks later, high voltage damaged the cable beyond repair. It wasn't until July 1865 that the second attempt was made aboard the world's largest ship at the time, the Great Eastern. It laid 1,200 miles of cable before it snapped at a depth of 2.5 miles. A year later, the Great Eastern began its third attempt from Valencia Island in July 1866. It was pulled ashore at Hearts Content on the 27th of July, having laid more than 1,600 nautical miles of cable. The Valencia Telegraph Station went into operation immediately, laying the foundations for modern Ireland's technology industry. By the 1900s, the station employed more than 40 telegraph workers, housing their families and support staff. In 1966, after 100 years in operation, the station finally closed its doors. It remains as a testament to the efforts of those who laid the cable and a symbol of Ireland's contribution to the foundations of globalisation.